All right, everybody, we have head coach Pat Noonan. For those in the room, please raise your hand. If you have a question, we'll call on you individually. Uh, we'll begin, coach, with your thoughts uh, on tonight's match. Yeah, this one hurts. You know, we're in position to, uh, to advance and, um, you know, lost momentum with the, with the set piece conceding. But even after that, I thought we had our moments to, to see out the game and, um, you know, get the third goal. Some of the decisions, obviously, in front of goal were poor. And, you know, we opened up the door for, for them to do something at the end of the game. You know, I, I can't fault the effort. There was a lot of guys that gave more than they were probably expecting and some un, unfortunate subs that we had to make just based on guys um, cramping and having to come off and just couldn't see it out. So um, I know the guys gave everything, but it's, you know, this one's, this one's disappointing. Well, we're open up to questions. Please raise your hand if you have one. We'll call on you. We'll start here in the front with Pat Brennan. Pat, I know you don't usually uh, have or take the opportunity to address the team mm -hmm. after a match. Did you do that tonight? Did not. No. Um, were you able to take the temperature of the guys on the field? They're gutted. You know, yeah. there's they, they put a lot into it and... And again, we were in position to um, to advance to a final and, and came up short. So, guys, um, you know, guys are struggling with this one as they should be. How how do you think? I mean, how how do you expect to bounce back from? Not it's it's this after the Columbus result on yeah. Sunday. Um, how do you how do you do that? We'll see. You know, you gotta you gotta. You know, dig deep in moments like this. You know, it's two losses, but it's two important losses. And so, um, you know, how we come out of this is is up to us. You know, the guys put a lot into it. So, obviously, we have to, to see where we're at over the next couple of days to try to put out a strong team uh, against New York City. We're going to Laurel and then Pablo and then Caleb. Uh, you mentioned the subs and some cramping. Um, can you go over the, the last subs in regulation. How tough is it to take yeah. Lucho in particular off at that moment, and how did that affect yeah, you? Yeah, I don't think anybody wants to come off the field. There was four guys, and um, you know, it was who, who we thought could could help us see the game out at that point. So, you know, Lucho, Ian, Junior, you know, obviously Alvaro was. Um, so, you know, Obi had an issue, and it was who could, you know, survive the end of the game and potentially more, which was, was the case. So we made some adjustments that we weren't expecting to, but um, I still thought we were in a position to see out the game. We'll go to Pablo. Hey, Pat. I just wanted to ask um, what you made of, of Messi's night. He seemed a little bit less involved in, in some mm. other games, but he's still very much involved in right. the first two goals. Um, yeah, he, make, he makes the delivery on, uh, on the plays that matter, and that's where he's a difference maker. I thought – you know, as a whole, the guys did a pretty good job of um, limited moments where he could be in dangerous spots to cause us some problems. Um, you know, at times having him drift a little further from goal and be a playmaker. I thought we handled those moments pretty well and along the back line. And then I thought the 1v1 moments and, and when we could double, we got uh, a lot of those moments right to be able to um, to win the ball. So, um you know, we, we knew it was going to be a difficult uh, challenge. And, um, you know, I thought overall the guys um, had some good discipline in trying to, you know, limit a, a very uh, elite player. Go to Caleb and then Tyler and then the back. Pat, when you spoke to us yesterday, you mentioned the idea that you can play the right way for 89 minutes and then in yeah. one moment Messi can do something yeah. spectacular and beat you. Does it make it a little more... I don't know, bitter or sour, knowing that that's almost the exact way that that happened at the end of full time there. No, I mean it's just uh, when you concede the the second goal, that's that's tough because you you lose all your steam, and you can see we lost some confidence that cost us in the early stages of uh, extra time. But you know, credit to Campania who who makes um, good good runs and and finishes the playoff. So um, yeah, it's. Uh, it's one or two moments, and, and, and that's the difference. So I thought the guys did a lot of good things tonight, and it's, that's why it's tough because, you know, we won't be playing in a final. Hey, Tyler. Pat, um, going back to how the back line handled Messi, this looked like a big test for Ian, and yeah. it looked like a just huge performance for him. Just curious yeah. what you made of it. 
I thought Ian was strong, a whole back line. I thought the, the communication and um, passing on responsibilities at times for, you know, um, danger in their in their uh, spaces because it wasn't always the same guy. But I think just in how the matchups um, worked out, you know, Messi starting on that side, I thought Ian did a pretty good job. And then as he drifted into the middle and to the left side, um, I thought we passed on that movement in a good way where we could still get pressure to the ball and maintain our shape. So, you know, I thought Ian had a strong performance. All right, the back here in the blue. Coach, what was kind of the mentality going into penalty kicks right after you saw the third goal come after the end of extra time? I think the guys had some life. And um, obviously when we got the goal and you take a little bit of momentum into the uh, to the shootout, um, and then it's just a matter of, um, you know, guys stepping up and being brave. And for the five guys that stepped up, you know, I'm, um, I'm proud of them being ready to, uh, you know, to take a PK. And this is the hard part about the shootout is, you know, you get a winner, a loser, somebody that's going to have their head down uh, despite a good performance. And, and so it's a good time for our group to pick, a, you know, a player up when he's probably disappointed. But, you know, they made one more than we did. Thank you very much for your time, Pat. Okay, thank you.